Hi everybody, it's Nani. How you doing today? I'm doing really good. I'm back with another Dollar Tree haul. I found some really awesome things. I'm telling you, Dollar Tree never disappoints. The only thing I am kind of disappointed in right now is I'm having trouble finding all the fall items that I'm seeing so many people haul. I was looking for the wood beads, the strings of wood beads. Can't find them. In a couple of my stores, the fall stuff is completely wiped out. There is nothing. You may find one or two little things. That is it. It is wiped out. So I don't know quite what's going on with that. I had actually asked one of the checkout ladies if they're getting anything else in. And she said she had no idea that she thought maybe that was it. So I have no idea what's going on there. But I mean, I found a few, few things here and there over the past several hauls, but nothing of the stuff that I was really looking for. So I really don't need anything. So maybe that's a good thing, right? All right, guys, I'm gonna jump right in with what I showed you in my thumbnail. Walmart products in the Dollar Tree? Huh, yeah, they're Walmart. It says it right on the back. It's from Walmart. These are add-on two-in-one stylus with ballpoint pen. It's a three-pack. You get a black, white, and silver. And it says stylus pen with built or stylus pen with built-in ballpoint pen. So I thought that was pretty interesting. I don't see a price on here of what it would have been at Walmart, but that is a Walmart product at the Dollar Tree. Pretty impressive, I think. And Hubby uses styluses a lot. His thumbs just cannot do the whole cell phone, little teeny typing buttons. So he uses a stylus quite a bit. So I figured I'd pick up one of these. And then this, this is another Walmart product. You can see it down here at the bottom. I was gonna put my glasses on, but I'm assuming it's down here somewhere. This is the ON, O-N-N. -N, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly, ON. And this is the seven inch universal tablet folio case. And it says compatible with most seven inch tablets. So I thought that was pretty cool. I'm gonna see if it'll fit mine. I have, an, I have an old tablet that I use. I can't quite remember how big it is. If it's a seven inch or an eight inch, I'm not sure, but I actually bought this for me to see if it would work with it because the case that I have on it is just destroyed. So that's why I picked this one up. There were only a few left of both of these in on the shelves in the store. So I just grabbed one of each. I, Walmart products? I have, do I have that upside down? I do, it's upside down. I thought that was pretty cool find. I'm still looking for, I don't know what the name brand was or if it even has a name brand, but it was a camera mount for on your dash in the vehicle. I was looking for those, they're, they're on my wish list, but I have not been able to find them. I'm sure people just scoop those right up, but you never know, You like the, um, the sticker books that, I never thought I'd find, and then there they were. So I have my wish list, and I always check when I go to the store. You just never know what's going to be there. So yeah, I thought that was a pretty good deal. I'm going to throw those over here. Let's see, which way should I go? Let's do these just random. These were at the checkout. I had shown a pack of these a few hauls back, and they were in the blood orange flavor. These are the Velaments. We all know what velaments are from way back in the day. I found this flavor this time. These are the, I believe it's coconut lime. Yes, coconut lime velaments. You get 28 sugar-free mints and it's a 0.7 ounce metal container of them. They are sealed, so I'm, I'm not gonna open them to try them, even though I really want to. Let's see if I can do this easily and quickly so I can try them for you. Oh, that was easy enough to open. The other ones were a slider. These are as well. It's a slider package with the little square mints, teeny, teeny little square mints in here. Let's try the, the coconut. The blood orange were really good. They're teeny little, little mints. Hmm. Those are good. Very, very different to taste. I definitely taste both the coconut and the lime in those. I like them. So I wish they would come out with the chocolate ones that they had back in the day. I would really love that. 
So yeah, if you see these, these were in the checkout line lane, wherever, you know, all the gum and candy bars and things are, is where they had these, a ton of them. So that's two flavors now that I have found in the Velvets, the blood orange and the coconut lime. My grandladies were down here, you know, last week or whenever it was now, and they swiped my package of the blood orange. They liked them, they took them with them, which happens quite frequently with them, and I don't mind one bit. I saw these. I'm having trouble again with car air fresheners. I found that one that worked great. All the ones since are very disappointing to me, and that was in the Driver's Choice brand. I found these and thought we would give them a try. Thought maybe the hangy ones would work better. This is by Refresh Brand, and it's a three-pack essentials collection. This says Invigorating Grapefruit, and it says Paper Air Freshener. And I thought they were just kind of cute. I don't know, they kind of reminded me of mandalas, mandalas, however you say that. I thought that was that was kind of cute. So I want to open one. It is a three pack, if you can see. We all know what the hanging little car air fresheners are. Can't really smell it through the packaging. So I want to open one up and see, see if there's any scent whatsoever because I'm about ready to give up on car, car air fresheners again. I smell something. Wow. You, you definitely smell it when you when you put your nose up to it. I'm kind of curious how it throws in the car. When you put your nose up to it, you definitely smell it. Hmm. And I don't know when they say essentials collection, does that mean that it's, are they made with essential oils? Let me see. I don't know. I don't know if they're made with essential oils or not, but if you guys have bought these and tried them, do they work? Because if these don't, that's probably gonna be it for me with car air fresheners from the Dollar Tree. I've just, that one was great. It worked for so long. That was the dual, the driver's choice dual air freshener. Worked great. It was new car, ocean breeze scent, loved it. And the two scents have just been misses. The two scents then have been misses. So I figured I'd pick these up, give it a try. We'll see if you guys have tried them and you know, are they garbage? You know, did I just waste a dollar? But it is what it is, I guess. <clears throat> I found these. Honeysuckle dryer sheets. Never saw honeysuckle dryer sheets in there before. You get 40 in here and they are six by nine inches. Softens and freshens clothes and spaces. And that's a good tip. You can put these anywhere. You can put them in your closet. You can put them in your RV. You can put them in your camper, in your boat, whatever, in your car. Put one under your seat. You can use these for so many things other than dryer sheets. But these smell good. You know me, though. I don't like things that, the strong scents that linger in my clothes. So I'm curious to give these a try. If you have tried them and you know that, that it is an overpowering scent left in your clothes, please let me know so that I can just pass these on to someone. But these are the honeysuckle scent, and I said there was 40. And it does smell really pretty. I love the smell of honeysuckle. It's one of my favorite flower scents. We live very close to Gettysburg. And in the springtime, over the batter, battlefields, the honeysuckle comes out and it just smells so beautiful. So when I saw the honeysuckle, I had to pick them up. And I also got, kind of boring, but I got my laundry detergent. I've had a lot of new subscribers. So I wanted to just let you all know, you guys that have been here, my my way back people know that I love this. This is the LA's Totally Awesome Stain Lifter Laundry Detergent. You get 32 loads, it's a 64 fluid ounce. I love this and I love the one in the blue bottle. They work great. One bottle of this lasts me two weeks easy. You know, $2 for laundry detergent for a month, I think is a great deal. It works well. so. Don't be afraid to pick up their laundry detergents, their softeners, they work excellent. This one and the blue one, I still haven't tried the one in the green bottle yet. I'm gonna just set this back over here. The grand ladies were here, as I said, and they wiped me out of the Lay's stacks. And this is the sour cream and onion. This is their chip of choice. They absolutely love these. I think they finished off two, I, I had one started and they finished off it and then a brand new one. Absolutely love these. 
and I prefer these to the Pringles brand. And I believe so do they. These just taste so much better. They're great. And they have all different flavors. So, but I knew I was wiped out of these, so I picked them up. They're just really good. And this is a, does it have the ounces? Five and a half ounce package. Let me see if I can find an expiration date. I have no idea where the expiration date is, so I'm not gonna waste any time looking, but I'm sure they will last a very long time. These are so, so good, and they have any flavor that you can possibly imagine, so don't be afraid to pick these up if you see them in the store, and you get a nice amount in this container. Um, so I went through like the book section, and I found these interesting little books that I'm gonna put away for Christmas. This one is 50 Things You Really Need to Know, and it's all about ocean monsters. And it says about the great white shark, box jellyfish, moray eel, ang anglerfish, and it just has all kind of interesting things about sea creatures. Let's see, I'm just gonna take this one, and it said that number 30 says, moon jellies change color depending on what they eat. It's just all kind of little interesting facts and these are about ocean monsters. I thought one of the kids would enjoy that. And this one is 50 things you really need to know about yucky stuff. Rotting food, slime, mold, frog spawn, and more. And I don't even want to show that one. Let's see, let's find one. It uh, talks about dung beetles. Kids love this, funky poop. Dung beetles dive in dung, eat dung, lay their eggs in dung, or bury very dung. They roll, what does it say? They roll it into balls that can weigh 10 times more than they do. Just interesting, fun little facts that I guess every person, every kid needs to know. I picked up just these two to throw in a gift thing for, for Christmas for one of the grands. I'm sure they will appreciate it. And I have a feeling I know who this one is, what this one is going to. And then I saw another one of these and had to pick it up. The six-year-old granddaughter, we actually had met with them here a few weeks back to eat. And I'm a grandma. I had stuff in my purse. I had crayons and things to keep her occupied while the grown-ups, you know, talk. Because she was, well, we had the baby, of course, but she was the only kid, kid. So I put one of, I showed it in one of my last hauls and it was the one with the cupcakes and she really seemed to enjoy it. So I saw this one and picked it up and it'll probably go into her Christmas bin. But this is by the Crayola brand and it is fun felt. You get one felt board and 12 felt pieces. And this is kind of the little fairies and it's probably gonna be hard to show you on the back, but you get a board with a little scene on it and you get the little fairies and it's almost like um, felt sticks to each other. So, you know, you put the little fairies down and they kind of attach. Just a cute little time consuming, you know, creative little art thing that they can they can play with. And I I know one of the grand, grand ladies will really, really like this. So it's getting put away for Christmas. And I started stocking up for the holidays and I found some Halloween type you know, paper plates and napkins. And I thought this one was really cute. And it says, Happy Halloween. And this is the it's party plates. And this was in the Halloween section where all the Halloween stuff is. It's an 18 count and it's an 8.75 inch by 8.75 inch plates. They had a couple different designs, patterns, but I picked up this one. I thought it was really cute. And I picked up these to go with it. And these are the party napkins. And how many is on this? You get a 20 count of 12.8 inch by 12.7 inch. Nice big size napkin. I picked up those to go with it. I thought that was that was pretty cute. And I can't remember what the other prints were, but they did have a couple different designs. I'm still on the lookout for fall paper plates and napkins. I haven't seen any. I don't know if they're already wiped out or what's going on with that. I wanted to show you real quick. I showed it in one of my last hauls. It is the Ioni, and the packaging is all ripped apart from me trying to get it open, which if you watched that video, you know that. But this is the Chubby Stick. It's called Ioni Fat Lips, P-H-A-T, Chubby Stick. 
creamy matte finish and this was it says maple syrup but there is no scent and the color is nude brown it is what i have on today with a just gloss over top pretty pretty fall color i absolutely love it it went on well it's not drying it doesn't dry your lips out it doesn't have any weird scent I really like this a lot. If I see these again in the store, which I doubt, but if I do, I will be picking up another one of these. I like it. So if you see the Ioni, or Ioni, I'm not quite sure how you pronounce that. If you see these in the store, don't be afraid to pick them up. I still have two more that I wanna try for you. One is the pink one. I actually let them sit here on my desk. One is the pink one that I had so much trouble getting off my hand when I swatched it. I'm sorry guys if that was loud. And one of them is the gloss and kind of the nude color. And yes, the color is nude. I've, I'm going to try these for you in one of my upcoming videos as well. They're sitting right here for me to do it. So that's it, guys. That's it for this haul. Short and sweet. I'm going to get off of here and not quite sure what I'm going to do for the rest of my day, but I'll figure that out. I hope you guys are having a good one. I appreciate each and every one of you. You mean the world to me. You're the best. If you like these kind of videos, please subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of my YouTube family. I think this is awesome. <laughs> I think it's seriously awesome. I'm sorry. I just had like a, my mind just wandered there for a second. But anyway, guys, you guys have a great rest of your day and I'm going to talk to you again here really soon.